yo how is it going everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video i'll show you how to install kali linux on windows 10 this video got 360k views and is one of the most successful videos in this channel that video is a little bit old now and i decided to update it with another video so let me show you what we are doing in this video there are two ways to install kali linux one is by using a disk but this will require to delete all data on PC but there is another way by using virtual machine this will allow you to use both Windows and Kali Linux inside of the same PC a virtual machine is a computer inside of a computer and the fun part about it is that you can do anything to it even break it and nothing will happen to your computer if you want to get into IT or programming you need to learn virtual machines now make sure to follow everything step by step so let's get started and continue with the first step which is downloading VirtualBox and to do that open your favorite browser and we are going to search for VirtualBox search for it and click on the first search result that shows up or you can find the link of this website in the video description so here we have VirtualBox official website and here you have some information about uh, VirtualBox and if you scroll down you will see a download VirtualBox 7.0 which is the latest version of VirtualBox click on this download VirtualBox and as you can see it will show another page which is the downloads page here you will find links to VirtualBox binaries and its source code here you will find some different versions of VirtualBox but the one we need is the Windows host click on it and if you click on it as you can see the file will start downloading wait for it to download and then we are going to continue with the installation so after the file has been downloaded the next step is to install VirtualBox on our Windows 10 computer and to do that click on the file and after clicking on the file another window will pop up is the setup window to install VirtualBox and to do that to install VirtualBox on our computer we have to click on next and then you're going to click on next again and as you can see it says a warning network interfaces annoy this warning and proceed with installation by clicking on yes click on yes again and click on install and the file will start installing now click on finish and installing VirtualBox has been completed so here we are on VirtualBox and now we are going to continue with the other step which is downloading Kali Linux and to do that open a new tab and search for Kali Linux go to kali.org you will find the link of this website again in the video description so here we are at Kali Linux official website and uh, as you can see this uh, Kali Linux version is the most advanced penetration test and distribution so here you will find the latest uh, Kali Linux version and you will find some information about Kali Linux the tools that you can download on it and where you can use Kali Linux as you can see you can use it on any device so to download Kali Linux click on this download button and it will take you to another page and uh, we are going to choose where we want to download Kali Linux so we already installed VirtualBox which is a virtual machine and uh, we are going to click on virtual machines make sure we have selected 64-bit version and here we have different types of virtual machines VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V and the one that we downloaded is VirtualBox so we want to download the VirtualBox version of Kali Linux which is 2.9 gigabytes and to do so click on this download icon and as you can see the download Kali Linux has already started we are going to wait for Kali Linux to download and then we are going to proceed with the installation so now after the Kali Linux file has been downloaded go to the folder where we are storing this uh, file I have WinRAR uh, downloaded 
because uh, we need this to extract the file the Kali Linux folder to the desktop so we need to extract this file but if you don't have uh, WinRAR you can use uh, 7-zip go to your browser and search for 7-zip go to 7-zip.org and download the 64-bit version I will leave the link of this website in the video description and click on the file and click on install after this has been installed go again to the folder where uh, Kali Linux uh, file uh, was downloaded right click on it and uh, you will find an open with button click on open with button and uh, if you don't find the WinRAR uh, app click on more apps and click on look for another app on PC go to 7-zip so right click on the file click on open with and uh, you will see 7-zip file manager you can use this or you can use WinRAR so right click on the file click on open with and click 7-zip file manager I'm using 7-zip file manager because not everyone will have uh, WinRAR downloaded so make sure you select the file by left clicking on it and click on extract copy to we need to copy it to desktop so click on the three dots and select desktop click on ok and ok so this will start extracting the file so now go to desktop and as you can see Kali Linux has been uh, extracted to desktop is this folder here so we have two files but first let me show you how you can do that with WinRAR2 just open the file normally if you have WinRAR and select the file and extract to desktop and click on ok this is how you can extract it using WinRAR so we extracted it using 7-zip so go to the inside the folder and here you will find two files so let me open VirtualBox on the side as you can see here we are on VirtualBox so inside the folder we will have two files so what we are going to do is double click on the blue file and as you can see it will import it to the virtual box so make sure you have selected Kali Linux virtual machine and click on machine and go to settings we have the system settings as you can see this is the base memory and I suggest you to increase it to 4 gigabytes and as you can see the processor is at its maximum capacity so I will leave this as default and display as default so we need to go to storage if you go to storage as you can see controller SATA is this uh, second file and uh, if you don't have this file which is automatically imported what you need to do is click on this disk image and click on choose the disk file and uh, you will select this file here if you don't have it auto imported we need to save the changes click on ok and now we are going to start our virtual machine make sure you select it and click on start and we'll start powering up the virtual machine so here is the startup after the Kali Linux has been started here we have a login window and the username is Kali and the password is Kali2 so use Kali for both and click on login and to make the screen bigger go to view and click on full screen mode click on switch and as you can see this will enable full screen mode and you will be able to see the Kali Linux virtual machine display full in full view so to disable this just scroll down and as you can see you will find this window so we are on uh, full screen mode now so what we are going to do here which is the main purpose of Kali Linux we are going to open the terminal and we are going to type some some few lines of command and also if you open the menu here you will find some other tools that you can use even the most uh, known tools you can use them so the quieter you become the more you are able to hear thank you so much for watching guys hope this video helped you don't forget to leave a comment like this video and also don't forget to subscribe so you can catch us on the next video peace out